What's going on, folks? My name is Adam Arisbaha. Uh, I'm a hydroinformatics engineer, and today I'm going to go through a really quick example uh, showing a use of PySwim with Swim.io to uh, run a simulation and uh, visualize some of the results. Um, first thing I want to do is uh, activate a virtual environment. Um, this is optional, but definitely recommended. Uh, uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm using Conda, but you can use all uh, virtual land or whatever you're comfortable with. Um, and then I'm going to get zoom out of my way. And then next thing I want to do is go to uh, PySwim.org and download the uh, Latte Art Double Shot example. Um, and I've actually already done that, um, so I'll skip that step. Um, and then I want to install Swim.io, which is an extra uh, a package that we're going to be using in this case. So you can go over to the um, Swim.io documentation um, and go to the installation section here. It's super easy. Um, so it's just basically a pip install Swim.io. And that's it. Um, and, and then I'm going to use a Jupyter notebook to, to run through this example. You can use whatever you're um, comfortable with, just a Python script if that's, that works for you. So we'll fire up Jupyter here. And then we go into the Latte Art Double Shots um, uh, bundle here. And then, yeah, we can see this uh, example one that IMP, that's the model that we're going to be running. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new Jupyter notebook. And I'll call this, uh, let's say, Latte Art Double Shot, Latte Art Double Shot. And then I want to import uh, the simulation object from PySwim. So I'll say from PySwim imports. Uh, simulation, and then also going to import some IO, which we just installed. Um, and then next thing we're going to do is use the uh, simulation context manager to run that run oops run that simulation. Um, so this is um, common common PySwim use here. See live development. Here we go. All right, so now we have results from PySwim, and. Uh, next thing I want to start using uh, Swim.io. So we'll uh, instantiate a model object um, uh, with Swim.io. So we'll say, call it model, um, Swim.io model. And then again, we're just going to um, point it to that example, that IMP file. In this case, Swim.io is going to um, uh, search to see if there is a, um, an RPT file kind of companion to that. Um, and then if it is there, it's going to it's going to um, kind of pull uh, results uh, from, from that uh, accordingly. And then also um, important if you're um, using actual coordinates for your projects um, in, in a maybe state plane coordinate reference system, um, you'll want to uh, give that information to Swim.io so it knows how to reproject it um, into a, um, a vis spatial visualization. Um, in this case, we're just kind of using example coordinates, so it's not as important here, but um, I'll do that here just uh, to show what that looks like. Um, and then finally, um, we can, with that, um, a model object instantiated. We can do all kinds of stuff. We can take a look at the junctions that are in, this, in the IMP file to make changes to them and rerun it in, in with Swim.io, for example, or with PySwim rather. Um, look at the conduits. Um, but it, uh, in this case, actually, we're just going to use um, this create map function in Swim.io, um, which kind of does some of this stuff under the hood for us. So um, say create map, and then we'll pass in the model object that we just instantiated. Um, and then we can give it a file name. Um, so I don't know, in this case, I'll say my awesome, eh, my cool map. So maybe it's not awesome, but it's cool. And, and then we'll run that. Um, and then if we go over to, um, basically this should have created a, a file called my cool map um, And so we go back and look at our directory structure here. We, we can see that we also have um, a dot out and dot RPT file. Um, that came that came from running um, the simulation using PySwim, um, and then down here we can see uh, my cool map .html. So let's open that up, and then here it is. So we can see we've got a uh, map-based visualization in the browser um, showing your your swim model, and um, visualizing the results here as well. So the, um, the kind of the color scheme is kind of a stoplight color scheme where. You know, green is you know good, and more yellow and red is is more of a concern. So, and in, and specifically in this case, we're visualizing the kind of the level of inundation of of the conduits 
and really that that's um, comes from this kind of max Q percent uh, value from from the report file, which is essentially um, the uh, the capacity of the of the sewer conduit, the Manning's full flow capacity. Um, uh, uh, or rather, it's the, the maximum flow rate of that conduit um, divided by the Manning's um, full flow capacity. Um, so in this case, this this uh, yellowish uh, conduit here is at 93% uh, utilization. Uh, I think this one's a little more inundated. Yeah, it's at about 106% there. And then you know the ones that are more green are yeah 50% utilized, which is which is well probably good. Um, yeah, so there you have it. There's a Super quick and easy uh, example of using PySwim to run a simulation and, and SwimIO to um, interact with the results and make a, a data visualization. So hopefully you found this useful and you can apply it to uh, yeah, your projects in the future.